Aditi Balachandran should be finishing her junior year at the University of Maryland. But instead, she's back home in Marlboro, New Jersey, helping her family make face shields for healthcare heroes, an initiative she helped spearhead. So Shields for Heroes is a GoFundMe campaign which we started exactly a month ago on the 1st of April. But uh, really, uh, it started off conversations right here at this table when, uh, with all that which was happening around all of us uh, in uh, terms of the coronavirus and the cases going up uh, and the news that hospital staffs are really uh, falling short in terms of the PPE that they have, we were talking about how do we contribute as a family? Of course, uh, one is we wanted to make sure we're going to stay home, so do our part. But apart from that, what do we do? Using their resources, the family of four launched Shields for Heroes. My professional business fraternity, um, he reached out in, the, in like our chat that we had. He said that his dad, he had a manufacturing company and they switched, they started making some PPE and like specifically the face shields. So um, then I ended up reaching out to him and then uh, we, he was able to connect my, uh, my dad and my parents with his dad as well. So it just took off from there. With donations from their Marlboro community, they were able to make 3,300 face shields and raise over $15,000 for six hospitals and first responders across New Jersey. We consider ourselves very lucky that we have, we know so many people that were able to not only contribute, but also send it to people that they know. And um, it's so fulfilling to see our whole community come together to like, work on this one effort. The Shields for Heroes campaign even helped their neighborhood hospital, Central State Medical Center, meet their need for face shields. Until we really hear that the, the peak is behind us, um, there will be a need for these hospitals. And, and we thought, you know, we'll keep making them and keep it ready. Whoever wants these shields, we are happy to donate. There's just something different about getting those pictures back from the people, from like the real frontline workers who are using our face shields. Um, it's just so fulfilling to see them, to see them wearing our shields and then saying, I feel safe now, I feel protected. Yeah. That is just something. Shields for Heroes is still accepting donations through their GoFundMe campaign that could be found on our website at njnn.tv. I'm Heather Fordham reporting for New Jersey News Network.